Eight months ago, doctors believed Gold Coast girl McGinley Anderson was 99.8% brain dead. The six-year-old had been in a tragic car crash in Port Macquarie, NSW, which killed her grandmother and injured her mother and brother. Mother Kylie Anderson was told to expect the worst and that her daughter might not survive. If she did, it was likely she would never eat, walk or talk again. McKinley had horrific injuries. She had a broken pelvis in three different places, she had a ruptured bladder, a dislocated hip and a broken femur, Ms. Anderson told 9.com.au. That was all on the bottom half. And then she had an extreme brain injury, with extreme brain trauma. We were pretty much in a place there where the doctors thought there was no hope for her. Doctors did not believe McGinley Anderson would survive, after a car crash in September. Photo, Kylie Anderson, Facebook, but McKinley is now being called a medical miracle after defying all odds to make an incredible recovery, Ms. Anderson said. Last week, the family celebrated a pivotal milestone with McKinley walking by herself for the first time since the accident. Video taken by Ms. Anderson shows McKinley joyfully taking her first steps down a hospital corridor, with her physiotherapist smiling and looking on. Walking is the best, walking is great, McKinley calls out as she makes her way unaided down the hallway. McKinley has amazed doctors and physiotherapists with her progress. Photo, Kylie Anderson, Facebook, it is amazing, we are still just in shock, Ms. Anderson said, adding that a few months ago she never would have dreamed McKinley would be walking so soon. McKinley amazes me every day with her determination. Every day the doctors say she can't do something and the next day she can do it. And she walks everywhere now, around the house, everywhere. You just can't keep her still. They are saying that after walking comes running and skipping and jumping. Well, she jumped the other night and landed on her feet. It totally shocked us all. McKinley spent five and a half months in hospital after the September 26th accident on the Pacific Highway, which involved three cars, a Ute and a B-double semi-trailer. She underwent a marathon 13-hour surgery at Port Macquarie Base Hospital and was in the ICU for two weeks. The scene of the crash, on the Pacific Highway in Port Macquarie, Photo, Kylie Anderson, Facebook, after she was taken off life support, McKinley began to communicate by blinking and, a month after the accident, said her first words. Ms. Anderson, who is a single mother of four, said her daughter was still undergoing intensive rehabilitation at Lady Salento Hospital, but was back at school and blowing everyone away with her progress. She takes us by surprise every day. They told me that she wouldn't be the same little girl. Well, she is the same little girl she was before the accident, she said. As well as having an incredibly positive attitude, McKinley was equally determined, Ms. Anderson said. On the days she didn't have physio, she would do her own physio. And she will be up every morning and she won't get out of bed until she has done at least 15 minutes of stretches. You tell her she can't do something, she will do it the next day. I don't know if she stays up all night practicing or whatever, but the next day she will do whatever you told her she can't do. McKinley with her mother Kylie Anderson. 
photo, Kylie Anderson, Facebook, Ms. Anderson said she also believed that McKinley had a guardian angel in the form of her mother, who died in the accident, looking out for her. I believe my mother is sitting right there on her shoulder, she said. Family friends are running an online fundraiser to help with McKinley's ongoing medical costs. Copyrights 9 Digital Proprietary Limited 2018, 